Hello friends and fans, this is the first video of the group build Clear Sky from Delan. And as you already mentioned in the title of the video, I will build a ZSU 23-4M, a defense system from the Russian. Yeah, and there's another kit or an, another ZSU Shilka um, from the model Hot Holic. He built one of from uh, from Meng and this one is from Dragon. Is if there is another Shirka as well, sorry for not matching you. Yeah, but uh, this is a good way to uh, see the difference between the Dragon Kit and the the Meng Kit. The the Dragon Kit is a bit cheaper, it must be, be uh, weaker of details, but it's cheaper. It costs less than the Meng Kit. And it's a bit older. So let's take a look inside. Um, so yeah. Let's start. This is the box art. The box art from the value packs are a bit poor. It's only a drawing of the kit. And normally you have a bonus. In this case we have the Soviet motor rifle troops. And this is also the box art on the side. And on this side too. And on this side you have three other kits from the um, value packs. We have the, the Jagdpanzer, which looks awesome, I think, uh, with the Volksgrenadier, or with four soldiers of the Volksgrenadier divisions from the Battle of the Bulge. You also have, or can see a box art of a half track from the Germans and a Mörser, the Loki Mörser. And on the last side, on, the, uh, on this side you can also see again the the box art and the serial number so let's take a look inside it's always when you try to open it or do you have a vacuum underneath so every sprue, every sprue was packed in a uh, in a plastic bag so they are well protected but you have a lot of rubbish later so we have the instruction sheet, we have a sprue with the soldiers, with the, the Soviet motor rifle troops. Let's take a closer look. They are, and these are very soft, but they are well done. But they must be brothers because they all have the same face. And so if you like to build them, I would prefer to make or I would use several or different faces because they all have the same yeah, they all have the same face, they all look quite equal but nevertheless the details are good, the bayonets are there the chapkas legs of course, drinking bottles and that's it we are on the next sprue yeah, somewhere else a sprue with the with the rifles as well, or maybe I can find them before. Uh, yeah, here's the sprue with the rifles, and we have some Galashnikovs in there. We have a MG and a light rocket thrower, and that's it. A scope as well, and a magazine box for the MG. That's it. So. Next sprue. This is the next sprue. That's the sprue B. It shows you the side skirts, a bit of the. I would say this is the back of the toe, but I'm not sure. But there's no flash, and uh, the detail. There are details, but not very. Yeah, uh, not a lot of them, but still fine. And the back sides. Yeah, a lot of. Um, a lot of the parts are uh, have brown stains. I would uh, I would recommend to wash the parts before you start to assembling them and painting them. It could happen that um, the color wouldn't stick but, uh, very well where some of the grease is. So before you start assembling them, wash them in soapy water, warm soapy water, and that would solve the problems with before you start painting them. We have two sprues with 
tracks. We have single leg tracks here. They are well detailed. And sadly, they have small marks between the guide horns. It's not so nice, but they are very soft. I think you will not see them later. Or you have a lot of work sending them away. Yeah, we have two sprues of them. They are both equal. We have the lower hole. We have a lot of details here on the underside. It's, it's, often not, it's only a flat surface here, but we have uh, some hedges here. And the swing arms are mounted. That's not so nice, so you have not the possibility uh, to to show the tank on uh, on on uh, uh, standing on something, so they are all even. Or well, you have to cut them away and glue them in under angle again. And I don't know if you can see it. This is all stainy again. It looks dry, but it has brown stains inside. So it's not greasy. It's dry. No. No grease on my fingers. So the other sprue here is the upper part of the hole and the turret and more parts of the turret. There's nothing more to say about that. The sprue itself is a bit bent but not the part so I think this will be not get some uh, get problems or make more problems. Another sprue is the lower part of the hole um the radar system I'm not said I think some hedges nothing more to say about that as I said the details are there are de there are some details but not the best one I think the man kit is more has more details so and we have two sprues they are equal again these are the the rollers and the machine guns and the drive sprockets say how very soft again not very high details here but that would be fine because the tracks are running around the, the horns and I think you will not see them later and this is the same sprue like the, the sprue before so this could also include a, a, a metal wire for the tow cables. That's really nice. They are that's a really drilled cable, so it looks very nice. And we also have the decals. You have the possibility to build the a Russian version, an Iraq version. Uh, former East German version, a Czech Republic, and I think that's hmm, and another version. I Polish, and one I don't know, but I think they write down in the in the. Nah, come on, in this in this one. In instruction, and so that's it. And we also have a sheet with four clear parts. This is only a one sheet without any stencils. Only one clear part. So that, that's it. The box is empty without one or piece of plastic. So let's take a look inside the instruction sheet. On the back side, as you can see here, is a painting guide for the figures. I will not use the figures here because I have a BTR 70 and I think they will fit better for the BTR. So I will not use them for this kit, sorry. So that's the front side. We have the box art again and all the sprues are shown. And it is also shown which are part which part are not necessary for the kit. And strangely, this clear part is not necessary. So they put them in, but you will never use them. This is this one, this little part down there. Don't know why they put that in then. So yeah. Oh, sorry. That only shows you that blue parts are not used. This is one. Is the 
the gear part. So my fault, sorry. And there's only one part which is not which will not use for that kit. So the first side shows you all colors you need and uh, some advice for the signs which we'll use. And you start with the radar system. Then you will work on the, the lower hull. As always, you know, normally you will start with, uh, when you start with the tank, you will normally start with the, the lower hull, with the running gear. And uh, let's see the upper hull. The upper hull, the guns over there. Sorry, the guns. Eight, nine, the guns as well. The turret. Eleven. Uh, adding the turret to the lower hole, the lower hole to the upper hole, and that's it. You only have four steps here. And then we have one and a half or one more versions of painting. We have the version for the USSR, the Iraq, the East German, Lebanon. So that's that's maybe one of the deepest I don't know. Uh, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Hungary, Vietnam, and Syria. So you have a lot of uh, possibilities to to show your tank. Um, yeah, that's all painting and marking advices. Uh, I try to make the SCU in a really warm winter camo. That's my opinion at the moment, but I'm pretty sure I will change my mind several times. The first, I try to make a East German version, then I change my mind to a very worn winter version. Maybe I will change my mind when I build a tank. So that's everything what's inside the tank. And the next video are the first steps. So I hope you like the video and uh, have a lot of fun with the GB. And we will see us in the next video. Bye.